Today we're diving into a groundbreaking announcement from Google. You might recall Google Glass from years ago, an intriguing glimpse into wearable tech that never fully took off. Well now Google is returning with a vengeance, partnering with Samsung and Qualcomm to bring us Android XR, a whole new platform that could change how we live and work. Think of it like a supercharged version of augmented reality that merges seamlessly with daily life. At the heart of this new initiative is Gemini, Google's advanced AI model capable of interpreting text, images, and audio all at once. Ever dreamed of having your own personal assistant that sees what you see and speaks directly into your ear? We might be closer than ever. This time around, the hardware is rumored to be slimmer, more comfortable, and much more powerful thanks to the collective expertise of Samsung and Qualcomm. So, if you've ever fantasized about living in a sci-fi movie, you'll want to stick around. Let's break down exactly why these new AI glasses might be the most exciting wearable tech in years. Section 2. What is Android XR? Android XR stands for Extended Reality Designed to Blend Augmented, Virtual, and Mixed Reality in One Unified Platform. While you might have tried simple AR apps or clunky VR headsets before, Google's mission is bigger they want developers to create immersive experiences that feel native to everyday life. Partnering with Samsung for design and Qualcomm for processing power means they can deliver a device that isn't just futuristic, but practical enough for you to use daily. By basing this on Android, Google allows most of your favorite apps, like Maps, YouTube and Photos, to integrate seamlessly into an extended reality environment. Instead of glancing down at a phone screen, you'd see interactive overlays in your real-world surroundings. Imagine directions floating in mid-air as you walk, or a YouTube cooking video pinned on your kitchen counter while you chop vegetables. This synergy between software and hardware aims to eliminate the gap between our digital and physical worlds. That's the essence of Android XR Total Immersion without sacrificing the convenience we're used to. Section 3. Why These Glasses Stand Out When the original Google Glass launched, people found it novel but ultimately too limited. Fast forward, and we have advanced optics, better AI and faster processors, setting the stage for a truly transformative device. Now, you won't just see notifications or the time hovering in your peripheral vision. Android XR promises full-blown augmented reality, helping you interact with the world in ways that were science fiction a decade ago. The real game-changer is how Google's Gemini AI interprets visual, textual, and spoken cues in real time. Instead of simple voice commands, you can ask open-ended questions or get contextual information about what's in your field of view. Stuck on a puzzle while redecorating? These glasses can show you precisely where to place a shelf, or even detect if you're about to hammer a nail into a bad spot. Combine that with Samsung's ergonomic designs and Qualcomm's power-saving chips, and you've got a recipe for a wearable that feels less like a gimmick and more like an essential extension of your smartphone. Section 4 Gemini AIS Magic Behind every fancy piece of hardware is an intelligence system, and in this case, it's Gemini, Google's advanced AI engine. Gemini can process multiple data streams simultaneously, effectively allowing it to see and hear the world through your glasses. If you ask, Gemini, where did I leave my keys? It could scan recent visual data to suggest you left them on the kitchen counter. It's like having an extra set of eyes. What sets Gemini apart is its ability to offer contextual support. If you need help assembling furniture, it can provide step-by-step -step visuals. If you're lost in a foreign country, it can translate signs and speech in real time. And thanks to its robust language model, it can hold natural conversations, understanding the nuances of your questions. In short, Gemini isn't just a voice assistant that gives you static answers, it's an adaptive helper that learns from your environment. This level of intelligence and responsiveness could be exactly what turns Android XR glasses into a must-have accessory. Section 5 Partnering with Samsung Qualcomm You might ask why team up with Samsung and Qualcomm. Simple each brings key expertise that ensures this endeavor reaches mainstream consumers. Samsung has proven its design and manufacturing chops across smartphones and smartwatches, so it's well-positioned to handle the form factor. Nobody wants air glasses that feel heavy or awkward. Meanwhile, Qualcomm is known for creating powerful, efficient chips, crucial for AR and AI tasks that devour resources and battery life. This trio of tech giants aims to address the biggest hurdles that previously held back R from wide adoption performance, comfort and longevity. Early VR headsets often overheated or required cumbersome cables, making them impractical. By pooling their strengths, Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm can deliver a device that's lighter, faster, and more power-efficient than anything we've seen so far. If they succeed, we could finally see AR glasses that last for hours, run smoothly, and don't feel like a science project strapped to your face. That's the dream fueling Android XR. Section 6. Everyday Applications Let's talk about practical use cases. Picture walking through a busy shopping district in a new city. Instead of stopping to check your phone, you simply speak, Hey Gemini, navigate me to the best vegan pizza spot. Instantly, an arrow overlays on the sidewalk, guiding you step by step. Arrive at the restaurant, scan the menu through your glasses, 
and watch as it translates foreign words on the fly, even suggesting dishes based on your tastes. At home, the possibilities multiply. Want to fix that leaky faucet? Gemini can project a visual diagram of the tool you need and how to use it. Tired of losing your remote? Gemini help you find it, based on your last known location. These aren't futuristic fantasies anymore. They're on the cusp of reality. With Android XR, you won't be rummaging through drawers for instructions or squinting at your phone screen. Instead, digital guidance appears right where it's needed, saving you time, frustration, and maybe even a trip to the hardware store. Section 7 Immersive Entertainment Memories If you're into entertainment, these glasses could be a goldmine. Imagine playing a streaming service on a giant virtual screen that only you can see, turning your small studio apartment into an IMAX theater, or diving into 3D cities with Google Maps in immersive view exploring places you've never been without leaving your couch. For gaming, you might find digital characters seamlessly integrated with your real surroundings, offering a fresh take on mixed reality experiences. Additionally, Google has teased the concept of viewing old photos and videos in a 3D-like format. It's like walking through a memory, with labels and context floating beside the images. Though some worry it might be too immersive or borderline dystopian, others see it as the next step in how we archive and revisit life's moments. Rather than scrolling through flat images on a phone, you can step into them, or so Google hints. Entertainment, nostalgia, and exploration might never be the same once we get our hands on these new AI-powered glasses. Section 8 Challenges Concerns No cutting-edge technology arrives without hurdles. First off, there's the privacy question. When your glasses can see what you see, how do we ensure that personal data and the data of bystanders is protected? Google will likely need to implement strict controls and make sure users feel safe about what's being recorded or analyzed. Another concern is social etiquette. Will people feel uneasy if they suspect they're being scanned by someone's AI glasses? Beyond privacy, there's the hardware challenge. Shrinking powerful processors, batteries, and displays into a device that sits comfortably on your face is no small feat. Early adopters might still find the first generation of Android XR headsets a bit bulkier than they'd like. Battery life could also be an issue, especially if you're running advanced AR tasks all day. Lastly, the cost might be steep at launch, limiting it to tech enthusiasts before mainstream prices can come down. Despite these concerns, the potential breakthroughs in convenience and functionality remain compelling enough to keep excitement sky high. Section 9 Release Timeline Future Plans So, when can you get your hands on Android XR? Google has mentioned that they aim to launch a new headset next year, codenamed Project Muhan, thanks to Samsung's development efforts. This device will likely showcase the platform's potential for entertainment, work, and interactive experiences. Later, Google hopes to refine the technology into sleeker glasses suitable for all-day wear, ones that don't scream I'm wearing a gadget on my face. The idea is to bring XR to the mainstream without the typical VR helmet look. Looking ahead, Google envisions an ecosystem of developers creating apps that feel natural to use with AR. From productivity tools to specialized training modules, the sky's the limit. And with Android as the backbone, developers won't need to start from scratch to port their apps to XR. That's critical for building a robust library of content. While it might take a few years to reach mass adoption, the seeds are planted. If you're curious about where consumer technology is headed, keep both eyes on Android XR. Let's face it, we've heard big promises about AR and VR for years. But this time, Google's approach seems different. By leveraging the Android ecosystem, advanced AI in Gemini, and the hardware finesse of Samsung and Qualcomm, these XR glasses have the potential to become part of our daily routines. Whether you're a traveler hoping for real-time translations, a student craving immersive learning, or just someone who frequently loses their car keys, there's a use case that can make life easier. What do you think? Comment below. I want to know your opinion about this matter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.